guys. Um, sorry that I haven't vlogged all day today, if anybody cares. I, um, I've been, I've been, I don't know, I've been really busy. Um, had a few wag walks this morning and then in school you're just packing all day. And then right now I'm back after a walk. And now, ooh, I just like kind of burped as I was talking. I'm so sorry, excuse me. Um, I'm a mess, obviously. Look at me. I feel like every time I come up here to do a video, I'm a hot mess. Um, but yeah, um, I've been just, um, trying to get myself together, I guess, this, this, today. It's like 4.30. It's pretty much the end of the day. Um, hmm, what was I gonna do? I don't know what I was gonna do. I already told you guys about my day. I'm about to actually go throw this out. I changed my um, my curtains this, or not this morning, like right now. I'm trying to find something comfy. Cause, I don't know, I just feel like all discombobulated right now. Um, hold on, let me put you down really quick. I feel really discombobulated right now, but I'll show you my curtains my, or my new shower curtains. No, they're not new. I just switched them out, but um, I need to look for the bathroom. Um, but yeah, that's what I just did right now. And I'm about to go throw this out, the trash, um, the old, like, not the old shower curtain, like the, the, the one that goes underneath the shower curtain, if that makes any sense. It's a liner. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna go through. Oh, I'm gonna step on the door. You sure have made a lot of friends. No. Okay. Hello. 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 Luckily, we just have like a shoot here in my building, um, like on on the same floor, so we don't have to go all the downstairs to throw trash bags down. <sighs> Anywho, um, oh my gosh, I just wish it was like on this, especially when I have like a heavy bag. I wish it was on this side of the hallway, so I don't have to be running back and forth like a mad woman, but take this in, this is a very ugly one too. It doesn't smell bad, but it's just like not as up as it should be. Really? Oh, I thought I wasn't recording for a while. I just got something about a, a wag walk ASAP. At 4.20, oh, I don't know what that is. That's too far from me. Um, I'm gonna do like, if I go out later tonight to do a walk, I'm just gonna do like one or two, but like near my house. I'm not going anywhere. That's more than a mile away. I decided already. Okay. I'm gonna go and like lay down for a little bit because I'm extremely tired. Gosh, he left. Why? Why did he just leave? Hey, where are you going? Come back. <laughs> Decided to stretch in the hallway. Really? Go inside. Come on, let's go in. Come on, let's go inside. Oh, go in. It's time to go in. Come on, go. Go. That was so weird. That was random. He never does that. He only like maybe pokes out his body a little bit, but that's it. Alright. Close the door. 
a little bit of peace and quiet for a little bit at least. So I just read something that kind of pissed me off and I guess I'll talk to you guys about it a little bit. It's a little bit of a rant, but I'm really irritated about it because I don't want to offend anybody out there. I just feel like it's a matter of being fair and being compassionate, to be honest, because, okay, I'll just tell you what I read. I read about, um, like on Facebook, I saw um, on a post, because I'm a Catholic and I grew up in a Catholic school. I grew up in a Catholic, you know, environment um, for like eight years and then I went to public high school. Oh no, I went two years to um, Catholic high school and then two years, and then my last two years were in public school. But anyways, that's besides the point. But anywho, um, basically, oh man, I forget. I wish I were in vlogging with my phone because then I could read it off the Facebook page. But they posted something on like a church website about um, like the county. Actually, it's actually the county that I work in. Um, um, making, I guess, a plan in the next year to um, teach um, or make it part of sex ed about um, gender um, choice, basically about, you know, LG LGBT rights. Am I saying that right? Yeah, LGBT rights. Um, and just kind of teaching that, you know, on the way of growing up, you know, you, you know, you grow up, you, you make a choice and that's your choice, whatever. Um, so they're going to teach that or they're trying to implement that in the sex ed program. If, if I'm, 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 I hope I am explaining this right. I'm just so heated up because on the church website, it's basically saying like, we got to protest this. This can't happen. Blah, 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 blah. This can't be put in, it's, or this can't be implemented into the the sex ed um, program, how can they do this? Um, so against like, um, you know, Christian belief, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like really out of everything that you can post about. I'm just like, people are dying out there, dying. Like right now, what happened yesterday, the volcano eruption in Guatemala and these people are posting about like something about so like who cares you know let people be honestly i mean i'm just like i can't believe they could be so angry about something like that and like people are dying why didn't you post about let's try to help guatemala out or you know all the explosions that are happening in afghanistan where like families are dying children are dying i'm i'm just baffled by what pe people are like bothered by like over the top in shock and it's and it's the church like come on if anything putting that into you know the curriculum is teaching everyone you know all students to accept um others to be compassionate you know to, to understand others i and it's really weird because today my coworkers and i like one of them she went to a catholic school and um she's totally for you know equal rights and then you know my other coworker, we're, we're all pr pretty much on the same page politically everything um but we were talking about how like because I work in an enhanced autism classroom, if you didn't know that. And um, I should probably put that out there before, but I, eh, I work in an enhanced autism classroom. And I was just mentioning, and then they were mentioning um, how, you know, autism really wasn't talked about way back. And I, um, I was just saying how I grew up in a Catholic school and I never saw anybody, well, you know what? Let me say something. I never saw anybody, like there wasn't a class where it was like SPED or special ed or, you know, anything like that in school. You know, so it wasn't, it was just pretty much a gen ed population. 
and if anyone had any problems they were either told you know they can't continue in the school which happened um to my family members um my brother i don't want to put his business out there but my brother was pretty told the same he had he grew up with adhd and they couldn't deal with him they told my mom he needs to go elsewhere like that's just giving up on the child so that's number one number two um i had in my classrooms while being in catholic school um two kids and i'm never gonna forget the names i'm not gonna put their names out there because that's just gonna say no i'm not i won't do that but let's just say bob and billy bob and billy had a really hard time in school just following directions and who knows maybe they were on the spectrum or maybe they had some you know needs that just weren't met you know that weren't met at the school you know nobody was helping them it was just like getting like getting them out of this of the classroom i am i can't imagine i can't explain to you guys how many times i saw these kids being dragged out of the class by by teachers and i just used to be like that's so unfair instead of trying to understand them i was just that they would just drag them out and basically they were labeled as like the naughty kids you know like the bad kids and really maybe they just had a lot going on and there wasn't you know a protocol installed you know for them or a plan made for them to help them so you know you know good for good for the county i'm i'm really happy that they're trying to implement um, this into the sex ed, sex ed curriculum and I'm sorry but the church just needs to butt out seriously be there for people that really need it <laughs> hello um, everything going on in the world right now come on and you're gonna be picking on this not cool man not cool but anywho I hope I made sense I just hope that someday the whole world would just be in peace and, you know, so stop being so judgmental. <laughs> but anywho, that was my tiny rant and this whole part of the vlog um, that I'm vlogging is pretty much like 12 minutes long. I can see it on my camera, but anywho, if I don't see you again today, this was probably the end of the video. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.